council meeting is called to order. We're going to ask our council Smith if he would lead us in the invitation. God, thank you so much for all the blessings that you bestowed uh, on all of us. Well, we know we got people that are in harm's way right now uh, dealing with the hurricane. We ask that you put your hand on them and give them comfort and uh, guide those out of harm's way if they still got time to get out and keep them safe on their travels and help them to go home and uh, be able to pick their lives up again and just give them strength through all of that, Lord. We thank you for our city. We thank you for our citizens uh, that help to, that help to make Dublin what it is. Help us to be mindful as, as leaders in the community to uh, always have the best interest of our com community at heart, our whole community, Lord. We ask that you be with us as we go through this meeting, guide our thoughts and our deeds, and in Jesus' name, amen. 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 I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good evening. The first item on the agenda is approval of the August 17th City Council meeting minutes. You ask. Move for approval. approval. Second. second. It's been moved and second that we uh, approve the City Council me meeting minutes for August 17th. All in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? The meeting is, uh, the minutes are approved. Second item, approval of bills over $3,000. May I approach him and make a motion we pay the bills. Second. Been moved and second that we pay the bills. All in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? Ayes uh, have it. Third item is approval of purchases over $3,000. Uh, uh, Lance, would you? Yes. Um, we have uh, one purchase for your consideration. It is a hydraulic mini excavator to be used by water construction. We usually here we call it a mini X. Um, there are a lot of attachments that do a lot. These are small things. We can get into, get into y'all's yards a lot easier without tearing your yard up. It's not like driving a big backhoe in there. So we can get in and work and do a lot less damage when we're, when we're working and get into some really tight spaces. Um, we got six bids. The low bid that met all the specifications was from Yancey Brothers, the amount of $42,443. And the staff would recommend awarding the bid to Yancey Brothers. You've heard the uh, proposed purchase. Uh, what's the pledge of the council? Mr. Mayor, President, I move for approval. I'd also like to state that the budgeted amount was $57,500. So we're getting a good deal here based on, our, on that number. So I move for approval. Second. Been moved and second that we approve the purchase over three thousand dollars. All in favor say aye. Aye. Any opposed? Approved. Item four: presentation by representatives of Dublin Teen Court on recent program activities. If you would, if you would state your name and you can continue with your presentation. Um, my name is Kenzie Clark, and on behalf of the Dublin Lawrence County Teen Court Program and all <laughs> of our many volunteers, we would like to send a heartfelt thank you to our city council for your continued support. Hello, my name is Kenzie Clark, and I am a 10th grade student at West Lawrence High School. I currently serve as an attorney in teen court. This summer during July 13th through 16th, 16 court students, myself included, represented the state of Georgia at the Florida PALS Youth Directors Conference. The theme was a back to basics military training. We were each placed in separate branches of the military and attended classes throughout the day. 
with newly found friends from Florida to California. Our sessions included topics on crime and safety, communities and services, cyberbullying, becoming a stronger person, and my favorite class, Life After High School. Um, even though we had all of those important things we did throughout the day, because of Teen Court and my experience at PAL, it has helped me to step out of my comfort zone. Not only did I meet new friends, I built stronger friendships with the teens from our program, as well as we are from, uh, and we are from different high schools and rarely see each other outside of Teen Court, so it was very nice to get to know them as a closer person. Um, even though we had a day full of important activities and um, serious uh, meetings, we even managed to squeeze in a little fun. But however, all great things must soon come to an end, at least until next year. So thank you very much. Hi, Council. Um, my name is Kamisha Miles, and today I'm representing the City of Dublin Youth Council. And today I'm here to talk about my trip that I took to Germany this summer through the program named um, Ambassador and Sneakers. Ambassador Sneakers is um, a Youth Leaders Transatlantic Summer Academy for Human Rights. It's, uh, we spent two weeks in the U.S. and two weeks in Germany. It consists of 12 German um, youth ambassadors and 12 U.S. youth ambassadors. The requirements is that you have to be in a youth council at least 16 through 21, and also that you have completed application. Some of the things that we, um, some of the cities that we went to were Atlanta, New York, that was in the U.S., and then we went to Germany, we went to Tübingen, and Berlin. And in Atlanta, we spent um, some of the stuff we did in Atlanta. We met a lot. We met a lot of um, politicians, a lot of human rights activists. And some of the politicians that we met were um, John Eves. He's running for, um, he's running, he's one of the chairmen of the Fulton County Board of Commissioners. And we also went to the Ebenezer International Worship, which is um, Martin Luther King Jr.'s new, like his church, his first church, I guess, where he was born into. And we also visited the National Center for um, Human Rights, Civil and Human Rights. And we also had a lunch with um, Ambassador um, Andrew Young. And the luncheon with Ambassador Andrew Young was very inspiring to me and other, my other, um, my other um, trip mates. And um, the way he spoke, he kind of make, he kind of like really make a realization in life today. Some of the things he said was how he didn't even think that he would be ambassador. He thought it would be something completely different and somehow he kind of like, he kind of did certain things and he's ambassador. So he was kind of like, just, you don't never know what you're gonna do until you do it and you never know your path, just do what you gotta do. And so we also um, visited CNN tour and um, the state and then in New York, we visited Statue of Liberty, Ellis Island. And we also met German mission of, of the United Nations and the trip was really based around um, human rights. We met a lot of people in the United Nations. We met one of the top um, Secretary General envoy of the youth, Sisiska uh, Shelikins. And um, she, she's um, one of the things that we learned, we learned something about fair trade. And so during the trip, we, we acknowledged that and we put it through her. And so that's one of the things we're working on through the trip. And also in Germany, in Tugend, we met a lot of people. It was kind of based around Berlin Wall. And um, we met one of the ladies that helped a lot of people escape to the other, um, to the West, um, West Germany. And um, actually what's kind of important, what's kind of cool about it is that the lady that founded the program, Ambassador Sneakers, that was the person that helped her parents and her father escape to the West Berlin. So I kind of felt that was something cool about the trip. And um, we also learned, really, the whole trip is very educational. We spent all day in meetings, meeting politicians. They gave us um, words about what they did and what is different in the U.S. and what is different in Germany. In the U.S., we're very outspoken. In Germany, they're not outspoken. And their education is completely different. When speaking with the other German students, you can see that they, they at an early age, they learn different languages. And over here, we don't do that. So that's something kind of different. And if you speak to them, they speak fluent English. Like, it's like me speaking to you guys. 
And so um, we also went to U.S. Embassy. We met one of the top guys there. He informed us. We talked like we were like two sitting at the same table basically. And so the whole trip, I feel like what I learned from the whole trip is that it's important that you know your civil rights because especially with a lot of things going on today, I feel like it's very important to know that. And also not be closed-minded when you're meeting new people from different countries because honestly, meeting people from different countries is not that bad. And honestly, we all felt like we knew each other and spending four weeks together, we felt like family. So I personally want to thank you guys, the council, I mean the council, sorry. And I first want to thank you, so thank you. Right, the next item up is uh, item five, discussion and action on a resolution authorizing acceptance of a historic preservation fund grant contract agreement for $7,260 uh, HPF, historic preservation fund grant that will be used to complete a con conditions assessment report for the North View Cemetery Mausoleum. All right, as you probably know, we have a mausoleum in North View Cemetery. It has been in bad shape for a long time. It's, uh, um, it's a beautiful building. It's kind of the centerpiece of the cemetery, but it uh, needs a lot of renovation. We applied for a grant to do a study and some preliminary engineering studies on what it would take to, what, what kind of work needs to be done there. Um, the, we think that study will cost us about $12,000 and we applied for it and were awarded a grant of $7,260 to go toward that and we will pay the balance which should be in that about $5,000, $4,800 in that range. But it depends on what the, what the final cost of it is but uh, we just need a motion and a, uh, a vote to approve except in the money. Make a motion we approve the acceptance of the money. Second. It's been moved and second that we um, approve uh, accepting the $7,260 grant. All in favor, say aye. Aye. Any opposed? It has been approved. <clears throat> Item six, discussion and action on award of bid to Roach Incorporated for the Barker Street Area Stormwater Drainage Improvement Project. And Lance, would you tell us uh, more about that? Uh, yes, yeah, so this project we've been working on for some time. Uh, we applied for a CDBG grant funding for it. Um, the, the folks around in that Market Street area have really had problems with drainage. Um, we used, we've gotten a lot of complaints there. Um, the water running out of the road and it just runs in straight into people's yards and just sits there. Um, and it, it's dangerous driving because the water sits in the in the roads too. So we applied for and were awarded a grant of five hundred thousand dollars to uh, do drainage work in the area. Um, we took bids. The uh, low bid um, is from Roach Inc. Uh, in the amount of nine hundred thirteen thousand two hundred and fifty three dollars. Um, we have worked with them uh, to reduce that amount and we have a change order. Um, that will reduce that total cost to $822,016.93. And what we would need to do is uh, ask council to um, approve uh, acceptance of Roach's bid of 913-253-03, um, contingent on it uh, simultaneously executing the change order. And they are, they are the low bidder. Um, we, we went back and looked at all the bids, uh, including the change order, went through all the bids to make sure we weren't, uh, that they were still low and they were still low if we make all those changes to all the bids. And with us having a $500,000 grant uh, that we need to utilize, so what's the pleasure of the uh, Mr. council? Mr. Mayor, go ahead, second. Uh, it's been a motion by Ms. Uh, Councilman Smith and second by Councilman Jones that we um, um, approve the, uh, the bid for the storm water drainage improvement project. All in favor? Aye. 
uh, any opposed? So uh, that is approved. Next item, seven, discussion and action on award of bid to Dublin Construction Company for the Jackson Street Plaza parking lot project. And it's been suggested that we table the item, so I need a motion and a second to table this item. Move to table. Second. Been moved and second that we table uh, item seven. All in favor say aye. Aye. Any opposed? Approved. Item eight, discussion and action on declaration of surplus. Uh, Lance, would you give us information on that? Yes, sir. We have two lots. The first is D, 15D81, that's the tax map and parcel number. It's located at the corner of North Decatur and McKinley Street. Um, and we would like you to declare that lot sur look, a surplus. And then we would, uh, the procedure we would go through is to sell it on the courthouse steps. Um, at the next sale day. Um, the next one is a surplus lot on Tennessee Street. Uh, same thing, it's a, just a vacant lot. Some neighbors would like to purchase it because we can't sell it directly to anybody, but we will auction it um, at the next sheriff's sale. So if you could declare both those lots surplus, uh, we will auction them at the courthouse. Make a motion we declare the lot surplus. Second. Second. Motion made by Councilman Jones and uh, second by Councilman Edwards. Uh, that we uh, uh, approve um, the surplus items. Uh, and that, let me that, just let me put in the record the second lot on Tennessee Street is D15F239. Tax and parcel. All in favor? Uh -huh. Aye. Aye. Uh -huh. Any opposed? Approved. Item nine: discussion and action on approval of resolution to authorize local government investment pool update of WAC uh, transfer. And we are going to ask um, City Clerk uh, Smith if you would kind of give us a little bit more detail. Yes, this that. is, um, yes, Councilman. Um, this is a, the local government investment pool update wire transfer authorization form that would be signed by myself uh, the uh, data financial manager, Leslie Hodges, and the city manager, Lance, uh, Lance, um, Jones. Jones. <laughs> I'm sorry, Lance, I'm sorry. For Smith um, and Jones. <laughs> and that is, it's just for, um, Georgia Fund One, uh, to authorize investment, um, funds. What's the, what's the pleasure, thank you very much. What's the pleasure of the council? Make a motion that we authorize the um, resolution. Second. Been moved and sec. It's been a um, motion by Councilman Jones and second by Councilman Smith that we approve the resolution uh, for the government investment pool update and wire transfer. All in favor, say aye. 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 Any opposed? Ayes have it. Um, can I ask a question? I mean, that has to be done. We have, we, she has to be authorized to do that. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> it's basically taking Joe's and right. his things off and putting Leslie. Right. 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 Uh, item 10, uh, citizens' comments. Is there any citizens that would like to come and uh, make comments at this time? If you would step forward, state your name and uh, your address and just share with us. Good evening. Good evening. My name is Laura Erwin. I live at I-14 Georgia Street, Dublin, Georgia, 31021. I came to say, and don't look surprised and don't look scared, <laughs> I came to bring you some good news. I uh, just came to say thank you, thank you, thank you for cleaning up that jungle behind my house. <laughs> it was about two years ago we came and requested it, and it's been a long time coming, but, but change has come. And I want to say thank you. I'm no longer afraid to go out my back door. Thank you so much, and keep up the good work. Thank you very much, Ms. Aaron. Thank you. 
any other, if you would step forward, state your name and the address for the record. Good evening. Good evening. Stanley, 113 Cascade Search, Ward 1. Uh, I've got a couple of concerns. I think I've talked to the city councilman at large and also the city manager concerning this light about uh, looking at uh, building a senior citizen, appropriate senior citizen building for Dublin and Lawrence County. I know that also, you know, the commissioners also have to be involved in that, but you got to start somewhere. Uh, you know, when you think about the baby boom, we a lot of taxes. And I'm looking at uh, basically, uh, I'm basically, <laughs> but uh, uh, I looked at one down the state for basically the same book, kind of basically the same size of county, county, county. Very nice senior citizen facility. I'm a senior citizen. You need, I don't think nobody got older than I am. But, uh, when you get up in age, I'm kind of acting, I have a lot to do, but you got a lot of senior citizens who don't have anything to do. And it's boring when you don't. But if we had a nice senior citizen, the bills would be good. Let's like say get started. Uh, I know you got, we got the TBO, C spots coming up. So we already got that kind of figure with money spent. But I'd like to go back, you have to go back and look at that a little bit. And then get with maybe uh, uh, Commissioner Lake or somebody and then let's get, get that rolling. Uh, one more item, uh, Henry Thomas Auditorium. It ain't Riverview Auditorium, Henry Thomas Auditorium. It's over 50 years old, building 54. And that's a city building. And it's not being kept up. Not being kept up. Now, like I say, I, there was a little spoil thing when we say Riverview, this Henry Thomas. So if you look at 54 and the age, and you look at only two boys clubs in the state of Georgia, and they haven't been in the state of Georgia, and that was one, which is not now. Uh, Rock Avery is the only one. So I like, if it's a grant that could be wrote or did, I like, you know, approach it. And uh, on the city council, on the uh, uh, senior citizen bill, you need some legwork or whatever, some ideas, I think I can help. Uh, in my livelihood, I was a manager of a big facility, and I, I know a lot about it. Okay, and I'll be willing to volunteer and not play golf maybe one day, but come do that. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, thank, thank you for giving me the chance to speak. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, uh, Mr. Stanley. Do we have any other citizens that would like to make uh, comments at this time? If no other citizens, uh, to comment, we are going to go to council comments, and um, we'll start um, with uh, Councilman Brown. Thank you, Mr. Mayor Pro Tem. Uh, thank you, everybody, for coming. Uh, I thank Ms. Ir Irwin and Mr. Stanley for their comments. I uh, thank you all for being here. Uh, to the uh, team court and, and youth council representatives, thank you all for what you're doing. Thank you for your comments. Glad that your trips were, were worthwhile. Um, Lastly, just, uh, you know, we're bad weather is, is swiftly approaching and, and uh, hopefully we'll stay out of harm's way, but we need to keep those and that are in harm's way in our thoughts and prayers and, uh, you know, never been through anything like that. So, uh, you know, just want to put, lift those people up in prayer. That's all, Mr. Mayor Pro Tem. Thank you. Councilman Jones. Um, thank you everyone for coming out. Um, and the presentation, the youth team court and youth council, very thoughtful. I'd like to um, um, remind everyone that right now the um, youth council and team court, in collaboration with other sponsors, are, are having a hose for Houston Drive. And I know we've seen a lot of people with um, bait with water, but we'll collect. Uh, they are collecting baby items, clothes, male and female. Um, toiletry items along with clothes to send to Houston. Um, you make the donation upstairs and we'll be, that will be going through the 11th, 9-11 uh, through the 11th of uh, this month. We'll send it off next week. We have someone already in Houston that we've already made contact with that will be accepting them and distributing them out. So 
your contribution will be in uh, good hands. I also like to remind everyone about Team Court on September the 23rd at 9 a.m. Council. We do have um, other people from out of town coming. A mayor from Waynesbury is bringing some of his council members to look at our Team Court. And also the district circuit judge is bringing people that she wants to work with her Team Court, get it up and started. So we may want to come and be in good um, attendance then and welcome our guests to that to that to watch our team court but other than that as uh, councilman brown said let's pray for the ones that sent um in the way of the storm and our loved ones and well, hey hope everyone have a safe trip and be safe and call it up thank you very much uh councilman smith video thank you mr mayor pro tem um i'd like to thank you young people for for coming tonight and making a presentation but not just that, but for being involved and wanting to do more and get more involved and be leaders. It's a, that's a special thing. And don't think it goes unnoticed because uh, people do take note. And uh, it'll make you be a, a stronger leader down the road, too. Um, I want to say also, Ms. Irwin, I'm glad we got that done. When you started walking to the front, that was a bad look on you. I thought you were coming up here to get on to me, <laughs> some of us. But uh, it's nice that we got that fixed. So I'm, I'm glad that that, uh, I'm, I'm glad about that. Um, good comments about the auditorium and, and uh, the Senior Citizen Center. Uh, nice uh, thought there. Thank everybody. Please do. Remember uh, our public safety folks that are out there. We got a lot of people who are on on call this weekend because there are a lot of people that are suffering and moving and uh, will certainly need to be lifted up. So just don't don't forget that. Uh, we're going to be fortunate here. We probably not have any bad issues, but there are going to be a lot of people who will. And let's just remember that. Uh, thank you for coming. Thank you. Councilman Edwards. I'd like to thank everyone for coming and thank you, Ms. Irwin, for your comments, Mr. Stanley, for your comments and bring those uh, matters to our attention. I'd like to thank the uh, team court and uh, uh, youth council uh, for coming today. And You know, you do set an example for younger students in grades too, so it's important that you do step up and take a leadership role and set a good example over there. Uh, I'd like to thank our police for our uh, security night and uh, uh, as has been mentioned, please be in prayer for all the back of who are going to have short tempers or won't know if they have a home to go back to. Uh, on there, we need to be considerate of those folks. Uh, and pray for all the, the paramedics, firefighters, and all, all the volunteers, Red Cross. There's going to be a lot of activity going on with, with uh, Double Lawrence County trying to help a bunch of folks out. This is where everything goes smooth. That's all I've got. Councilman Johnson. I'd like to thank everyone for coming tonight. Uh, I'm impressed with the young people continue participating in those program. I remember when, when your uh, direct Miss Kessler was in fifth and sixth grade, she participated in projects with 4-H and Josh was in 4-H. Now, one thing I need to correct, Mr. Stanley, we got five 4-H centers in Georgia. We've got more than one. There's five 4-H centers in Georgia. Um, I'd like to thank Ms. Irvin and Ms. Drigger. They served on council with me years ago. Uh, that was years ago. Now I'll be look, I'm looking forward to joining you all out there. I'm saying looking forward to <laughs> And um, I'd like to thank everyone for coming tonight and keep people in your prayers. All right. Thank you very much, um, uh, Councilman Johnson. Uh, uh, City Manager Jones, do you have anything that you would like to say? No additional comments. Okay. Um, uh, Attorney uh, Powell. No comment. Uh, City Clerk uh, Smith. No comment, thank you. Right. I would like to make a few comments. I, I didn't uh, commend uh, the Gene Court and the Youth Council representative when you came up. It was intentional intentionally from me I wanted to comment at the end. do want to thank uh, Kenzie for your presentation regarding uh, Gene Court and uh, we know from your presentation that the programs that we have are very worthwhile so you confirm that for us 
and then projects and uh, what you all are actually doing in our communities and giving our uh, youth another chance. And with Councilman uh, Jones indicating other municipalities wanting to come here to see what we are doing, uh, that confirmed that it's very worthwhile and it's a program that's working and, and much needed. As far as our church member, uh, for first, from First AB, Kamisha Myers, we want to commend you <coughs> for your presentation uh, regarding your trip and being an ambassador, uh, ambassador for the summer uh, and what you shared with us and, and being a part of Youth Council and representing yourself very well. We appreciate that very much. I want to thank uh, Mrs. Irwin for coming up and uh, sharing with us on a success story. Uh, <laughs> a lot of times we don't get that, but we certainly appreciate that very much. I want to thank uh, Mr. Stanley for coming up and sharing some things with us. And Lance, I would like for you to make a notation about a senior citizen's home and renovation. I'm talking about a good complete renovation for the Emory Thomas Auditorium and see if uh, we can check with Deborah to see whether there might be a grant for that effort. But that's some, certainly a couple of topics that we can talk about at the retreat. And uh, with, uh, I'm almost at the end of my comments. But uh, I'm glad uh, Councilman Johnson mentioned Ms. Drigger. Uh, she, she looked different. I, she was much younger. I didn't really recognize her. <laughs> but thank you very much for coming. So if it, uh, no other uh, business, we need a motion and a second to go into executive session. Move we'll going to executive session. Been motion by, second. Is there a second? Second. Been motion by Councilman uh, Jones and second by Councilman Johnson that we go into executive session. All in favor say aye. 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 Uh, we are going to uh, uh, adjourn this meeting right now just to go in executive session, but after that we have to reopen the meeting and then we uh, have our final adjournment. The meeting is officially adjourned.